Hey guys, my name is Madi and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is going to be all about TikTok and one of the products that I was lured into purchasing from the app. If you guys have a TikTok account, you definitely know that there are a lot of things on the app that are easy to get swept up on, including things that are trending and products and all that good stuff. There's this company called Lab Hairs. Now, if you go on TikTok and if you follow a lot of the various wig companies, you are going to definitely eventually fall into the category of people that end up bumping into this company. Basically, it is a full on wig cap, kind of like a wig mesh cap but it is a full wig cap that it can secure your wig on and basically claims to hold your wig in place so that when you move whichever way you can the wig does not slide off or fall off i've heard nothing but great things and i figured why not you know buy it see what it's all about now at first when i kept seeing videos i was like hmm, this is too good to be true there's no way a wig cap can keep your wig from falling off your head it can't be no that secure there's no way like for me personally, I was like, there's no way that this is going to be true. All of these people were probably paid off. Who knows? So to put my mind at ease, I had to purchase the product myself and try it out and also just let you guys know how it works. Now going into the app and even their website, there is a couple of differences that you can notice with the wig grips. So first of all, it says that it is created to create a soft, comfortable, protective barrier between your wigs. It is an interior cap and your head. They're different sizes, so you can get small, medium, and large, which I actually love because my head is super small and a lot of the wigs that I have don't fit me well, um, so that's a plus. It does have diamond stitching to prevent rolling and excessive stretching of the fabric, and also it is adjustable in the back, so you guys are going to see all of the good specs about it. So like I said, I did purchase mine from TikTok, but you guys can also purchase it from the website, whichever floats your boat, whichever you feel like is a little bit faster. For me personally, if I'm being honestly realistic with you guys it did take me about two weeks to get the product which normally from when I buy from TikTok it does take that long depending on where it's coming from so that's something to keep in mind if you're interested in purchasing this you're not going to get it right away you will have some time in between where it might take a little longer for you to get it so I am going to be testing the wig cap out on two different wigs today um, one of them is going to be from Timu and I reviewed this wig in a Timu wig haul a while ago I didn't necessarily review it I just did a quick unboxing of it and then I also showed you guys how it looked in person I also wore this wig for Easter so I have a lot of experience when it comes to this wig and the texture and the material and how it lasts and how it wears and it is a little bit big on me so that's something to keep in mind I am going to speak about the pros and the cons of the wig cap um, right off the bat the wig cap doesn't come in two different colors from what I'm seeing it's going to be brown and black it goes by the circumference of your head. It does have ear to ear access as well. And it goes around the temple of your ears. So what makes your wigs actually hold into place is the unique design that it has. It basically has a soft and comfortable velvet type of texture to it that the wigs necessarily kind of cling onto it and help secure it in place. So that's the whole science behind that. And then also it does have a full cap transparent lace in the front a small like I said and it fits me really really well I did have to tighten it a little bit later on in the video but you guys are gonna see for the most part it didn't slip or move anything like that if it slips off of your head or moves around you need to tighten it just a little bit more because this meshing material is so well meshed onto my head that when I tightened it all the way to where I feel like it's comfortable but not overly tight it didn't move at all so yeah another thing to keep in mind I am going back and forth between the website and the actual TikTok where I purchase it from and I'm having a little bit of a difficult time finding what is the measurements of the meshing material in the front. My assumption is that it is a 13 by 4 um, because the cap overall it is about 20 inches around depending on the size of the cap that you purchase. So just my assumptions from what I'm seeing I'm going to assume that it is a 13 um, so 13 inches of lace going around the circumference of your head and then a 4 inches going deep inside. This is just what I assume the measurements are, but you guys are going to see for yourself. You guys are going to see for yourself firsthand how the wig cap looks and all that good stuff. So it's not a T part. It's necessarily more of an open space. So yeah, we're just going to get straight into this video. Now, normally when I put my hair in a wig, I like to brush it back in a little, little bun bun. This is just me showing the cap again next to me. 
um, like in real person, not on the camera, on the table. So I like to put my hair in a little bun and then I'm um, just going to pick up the wig that I had from Timu. It's looking a little crazy because like I said, I already wore, I washed it, I wore it for Easter and styled it and all that good stuff. So this is just the little aftermath of it. So I'm going to put my head down and I'm going to start with the lace and then push it all the way back. Make sure it's nice and secure and tuck my sideburns in. I'm not being too precise because I'm not going to be wearing this wig for a long time. It's just for the purpose of the video and to test it out. So yeah, also the back, like I said, it's adjustable. So if I feel like it doesn't, not, it's not tight enough, I'm just going to pull it out. I like that the adjustable strap is very sturdy. It is a little bit hard actually to adjust it, like to get it off. But once you adjust it, it's not coming off at all. Like that strap stays secure so that whatever sizing or put on it, it's very comfortable. So yeah, this is going to be me slipping on the wig. And yeah, a lot of times in this video, you guys are going to see me laughing and whatnot. So whatever, we're going to have a fun time today. Also, all of the little undersea, the stickers, the background, that is my bathroom upstairs. All the stickers in the background, I did purchase it from Timu. All you have to do is search up under the sea stickers for bathroom decor or something like that. And it should pop up. There's a bunch of little baby sea turtles and they have those big stickers on the under the sea kind of looking in. So yeah, I'm going to do the shaking test back and forth motion. And for the first time that I tried it, the wig did stay a little bit more insecure in my head. Um, so as you guys can see, it didn't actually come off. Now the rock and roll test is the true test. Like that made the wig fall off. Now I will say there is going to be pros and cons to this, which is why I'm going to most likely write it on the screen or I'm going to tell you guys about it. This is another wig that I'm going to be trying it on. Now, I figured because the cap construction on the Easter Timu wig that I had is a little bit big on me, I'm going to try it on a wig that actually fits me better. And this synthetic wig is all beautiful. Like, it's the most beautiful synthetic wig that I've tried. Like, I've worn it to places and events and people can't even tell that it's synthetic. It doesn't frizz up like most synthetics. It keeps this nice long density and it's just perfect it doesn't shed at all anything like that so if i find the link for it i will link it down below but this video is not about this wig but i just wanted to give a huge shout out to this i think it's called el mera also the parting is really natural and because the wig cap underneath has like that mesh material it kind of hides my black roots that are already growing in and you can't really see it the wig cap on the wig is a little bit more tighter and it fits my hair a little bit better so that actually helps when it comes to the wig cap meshing well with your wig so i'm doing the rock and roll test and you see it hasn't moved at all now this is when it shocked me because the other wig i was disappointed that it wasn't really keeping it on it kept sliding a little bit but like i said again the other wig fits me a little bit bigger this wig had more of a better construction for my head and so that's going to come with the pros and cons. So one of the cons that I will say about this is that not all wigs feel secure with this wig cap. Yes, it does work. And you're going to see me back going back and forth. I'm trying to tug it. Um, another thing, if you really want to lay down the side of your wig, you're going to have to glue it down or you're going to have to even put some sticky tabs on it because this wig cap will not hold the side. I thought that it held the side better I thought that it should have held the side better because the Velcro straps are on the sides of your head, but it doesn't hold your edges down. It doesn't hold your sideburns down. So if you're afraid that your wig is going to come flying off, I don't think it's going to fly off if you have the right wig that fits your head and if you have the wig cap on the right measurements that fit your head. If those two are not corresponding with each other, I don't think it's going to work and it's going to end up flying off like the first wig that I tried. So just to give you guys another show, I'm taking off the wig cap and I'm going to show you how it moves about without any cap, just my natural head. You can already tell that it came off. So again, one of the cons with this is that depending on the actual wig and how it fits your head, it might not be secure. Also, another con, like I said, it doesn't hold your edges down, which is where the Velcro is kind of placed around that area. So I thought it would hold it down, but it doesn't. One of the pros about it is that it does hold your wig in and it's used for daily wear. So if you don't wanna wear glue, if you don't wanna wear sticky taps, but you want your wig to last for a couple of hours while you're doing errands, while you're going to work, something like that, and you're not moving your head too much back and forth, and you found the perfect wig that you feel like it fits your head well, but you want extra security, 
and you don't want to glue anything down this is going to be your best bet but the con like i said the cons align together so if your wig is not aligned with your head properly if your wig cap is not aligned with your head properly it's not going to fit your head properly this is just me showing the synthetic lace wig like i said this is my favorite synthetic wig that i purchased i have multiple from different brands and this is the first time I purchased it from this brand. I don't know if all of their wigs are around the same type of texture or material or whatever this is. But this is the best wig that I've tried. So everything will be linked down below. It is very long. It doesn't barely tangle at all. Of course, you're still going to have that typical type of frizzing up. But it doesn't frizz up as much as other synthetic wigs that I have tried and used frizz up. Definitely, whether you're interested in purchasing this product or you have already and you feel like you're having a hard time adjusting the strap or anything like that. I would say to look into um, wig tapes because that's going to be your best bet if you don't want to use any glue. Um, for me personally, like I said, let's say if I wanted to wear a wig that is not as secure on my head. I don't necessarily think that this is going to be enough to hold it down um, and feel secure about moving about without it sliding off. So I would go in with the wig grip tapes and hold that cap down. If they mesh well together, you're going to have a successful combination for a wig cap grip that's going to be strong and it's going to hold your wig in place. So I would say that's the only thing to really, really take into consideration. So as always, guys, if you like this video, please give me two thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.